super excited. Uh, the Hep Suzuki Twisted Tea, it's an amazing group. You know, it's, it's very exciting to be a part of something and this stage of my career, being able to learn and grow with the guys and be back on a Suzuki, which I had some success on in the past. So it's been a lot of fun. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely different, you know, and that's always nice. At this, at this stage of my career, like I said, I'm like 10 years deep now and variety is the spice of life. You know, change is very good for you sometimes. So I'm having so much fun right now. I'm very motivated, I've made a lot of changes with my program. So uh, it's, been, it's been good, man. I've been having fun working with the guys on the team. Uh, Dustin Clark, um, my mechanic Andrew, we've been getting some stuff figured out and, and it's been really fun. I definitely struggled with a few things the last few years with just set up and just with myself trying to get comfortable. Um, that being said, I struggled. I mightily struggled my last year on Suzuki's as well. So um, some a lot of that <laughs> boils down to just uh, JB19 having a hard time. So uh, I've been putting in a lot of work, man. I made some changes in my program, like I said, and. Things have been coming around, you know? I, like I said, man, I was pretty comfortable right off the bat. Um, I really enjoy, like I said, the engine package that we have. Allows me to kind of be smoother and, and lug the bike around, which I really like to do. And uh, that cable clutch, I love it because I like to adjust it all the time and I like the feel of it and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, man, it's a very different machine for sure, but at the same time, we're professionals and you just gotta maximize what each bike does well. And that's kind of something I'm learning the further into my career I get that nothing is ever gonna be perfect, no matter what you do. And it doesn't matter if we're talking dirt bikes or life, man, ain't nothing ever gonna be perfect. You gotta make the most of what you got and uh, just maximize what things do well, you know? So for myself, I gotta maximize what I'm good at. You know, I, I think I know what my strengths are at this point. Um, with the motorcycle, like I said, bikes, each bike does something good. So, you know, I try to, make the most of what this one does good and what I do well and try to mesh the two together and hopefully that's a good combination man and so far so good I feel I feel good yeah so just at this point in my career like I've been in this a long time but I still feel so young you know like inside I feel like it, that 18 year old still you know and lately I've been starting to kind of almost like still like getting a groove back a little bit I'm starting to feel more like myself again so that's very encouraging for me and the people around me but just go into a team that's a new challenge, you know, and bring in what I bring, which is a lot of experience, uh, experience with the good, the bad, and the ugly. I've won races. I've also been at the very bottom of the barrel before with this thing. So um, I've been at a lot of great teams, worked with a lot of great people. So I bring a lot of just experience and knowledge and, and also just that excitement thing makes up for a lot as well, you know, and going to the team, like they're very excited for me to be there. Um, they're very respectful, respectful of me and my program and what I do bring to the table, which is almost the most important thing for me, man. That, that means the world to me with that because at this point, I don't really feel like I, I don't need somebody telling me what to do at all times. I don't need someone kind of trying to steer my ship for me. I think if we are on the ship and we steer it together and have a common goal and a, the GPS mapped out correctly and at least with a plan of where we're trying to go, then I think that's when success can happen, you know? And, and I'm not going to this this season or any of this stuff expecting to go, oh, I'm gonna go win or be, you know, that's, you know, let's be honest. I'm, I'm a, I've got this delusional confidence in myself, but I'm also uh, understanding of reality, you know? And at the moment, I, I got some work to do. So it's very cool though, man, being able to work with those guys and just have everyone just be excited about trying to build this thing together and try to, progress as a team and help these guys learn more and, and become, you know, bigger and better. And, and then for myself, try to kind of revive my career a little bit. You know, I feel like I have a lot of years left in me at this point, which I didn't feel like that, you know, a year, year and a half ago. And uh, that's such a good feeling. And just to be around positive, excited people is, is so, so fun and encouraging. So, uh, man, I'm, I'm enjoying the challenge. I feel like I bring a lot to the table. Those guys are bringing a lot to the table and they're willing to do the work and, and doing their best to give me what I need. And like I said, that's all I ask for, you know? And, and with that, I think ultimately, I never want to have any reason to have any excuse, you know? I want it, 
I want it to be my fault if I don't do good, you know? So if they give me everything they have at their disposal and, and work with me as much as they can, then ultimately it falls on me. And as a man, I can take that. I can handle that. Um, just, you know, that pressure and that responsibility of uh, my results and my life being under my control, you know, that's, as a man, that's what, that's all you need. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to have any excuses and I, I'm not big on blaming other people for things, you know, cause ultimately, like I said, I'm steering this, my ship for myself. So uh, it's cool though, man. I'm, I'm so excited. And everyone says that when they go to a new team, you know, I know that, but I've been a lot of places. I've been around the block a few times. So uh, just the, the vibe and the environment is so important to me and it's been really good. Yeah, I think, I think it gets a little bit, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea to like put a number that you want to finish or do whatever. Like I'm out here at 83 compound. I ride with Cooper and, and all those guys. And for Cooper Webb, he's going to be planning on becoming a champion again, you know, because he is a two time Supergrass champion. I have not won a race in my 450 career. So, um, for me, it's obviously a different thing. I, I'm going into a new team. I've struggled the last handful of years. Like, it's not exactly been all roses and, and just beautiful scenery all the time. So I'm just looking towards progression and trying to just make the most of my opportunity that I have here, learn, grow, try to just improve every week and just do as good as I can, man. I don't know what that is. Some, I mean, sometimes I go and surprise myself, you know, like I just go out there and do as good as I can, try to rip a start if I rip a whole shot and then who knows, you know what I mean? I think that's, that's one of my strengths is that I don't ever really believe like the pecking order thing, you know, I just always, every time I go up there, it's who knows, you never know what can happen, you know, you go out and do as good as you can and not worry about all that other stuff and who's doing what or whatever, it doesn't matter, it just go do me, man, do as good as I can. So uh, long story long, I don't really have any expectation as far as where I want to finish. Obviously, I'm a competitive person and I would not still be doing this after everything that my career has took me through and the roller coaster ride that it has been if I did not still believe in myself greatly. So of course, I want to be up front, man. I'm competitive. So you get out there and you want to you want to go for it and try to be one of the guys. But Whatever it ends up being, it is, man. You play the hand you're dealt as good as you can, and uh, whatever you end up making out of that, you make out of it. So, obviously, I want to be up front, dude. I don't know what position that means, but I want to do well for myself. All the work and all the change and all the things I'm doing, I want to do well for this team, um, for all the guys that are involved in this and and supporting me and everyone I have around me. So, yeah, man. I don't have an answer for you as far as what place I want to get. I want to win, dude, first place. Duh, that's what we do this for, right? But, hey, man, I want to be up front. I don't know.